At the outset, I would like to extend my congratulations to the Department of Higher and Technical Education for successfully bringing many projects into our state and this time a professional college of music and fine arts into Chesema under the project of the Rastriya Achaktar Shiksha Abhiyan, popularly called and known as Rusa. My special appreciation to the Minister in Charge, Mr. M. Nalong, young, active, and leading the department after his taking over, that made a lot of achievements. As Commissioner Secretary has stated, 32 projects implemented in all the colleges which qualifies for this program. The other model college and also other activities. My appreciation to my colleague, Minister in Charge, and the department. And as mentioned, not only one zero Rusa and uh, two zero Rusa, but many more professional colleges and model colleges. Project is to be sanctioned and coming to our state. We all look forward that Nagaland will be provided with world-class higher education institutions in our state. And it is a blessing for the youth of the state and particularly of the state and Northeastern and all India. Nagaland were lagging behind in many ways, but most of all, our concern is education. Our vision, our dreams is to give quality educations to our children. And I feel that the highest expenditure we're incurring is sending our children to schools colleges, good schools, good colleges, and mostly outside the state, which is draining out our economy. Huge expenditure. If we have world-class and center of excellence, professional colleges, model colleges, and other institutions, then our children, our students will definitely excel. They are second to none. But that opportunity is lacking. And therefore, it is a very pleased. I'm very pleased that today we are laying a foundation stone of a professional college. Music and fine arts and our cultures, our dramas, our indigenous, all these things will be coming in. As mentioned, once it is done, it will be under the Nagaland University. And you see, Nagas, we are very casual. We call our land as land of festivals. Any festivals, involves music, singing, dancing, and all kind of dramas, and of course, fine arts. Everybody is doing, but how many people are having the degree, diploma? You see, anything we do, there is a basis to do. And 
if you have a certificate, a diploma, or a degree, a graduate, a master in your particular discipline, then you know the basic. You have confidence. People trust you. And that's how that formal education is required. We all cook and eat. We all sing. We all dance. But there is a formula to eat. And that should be taught. That should be learned. I saw one uh, movie. An Indian family going to Europe. So in the uh, passport checking in the airport, the family in front of that, uh, one boy was there and he was asked, where are you going? I'm going to Sweden. And what are you going to do there? We're going to run a restaurant. Then, what degree you have? What certificate you have? He said, no, my mother is a very good cook and we are going to open a restaurant. You see, that is our Indian culture, that is our Naga culture. You may be very good, but you need a certificate. You need a degree. You need to know the formula. And that's why all our music, our fine arts, our dances, our dramas, our culture, this needs to be studied minutely. Like when you cook, when you, you cook then you have to see the component, the recipe. What combination and how to add, for how long and the method of cooking. So all these things. Therefore, when you have a professional uh, college and particularly in the land of festival, a professional college of music and fine arts, drama and culture, I think this will enhance the performance of our people. Our home meal festival will be different, more lively, and many people will come to the land of festival to learn music, to learn fine arts, to learn the culture and dramas. This is the benefit. I appreciate my villagers Jessema, for parting with your land to develop this professional college here. And your contribution, your parting the land, though the rate may be not very good, the dividend will be multiple. And you'll be serving the people and our youth, whoever come and learn from these institutions will always remember and you'll get much blessing and I hope that this professional college made in Nagaland will further enhance the knowledge, the expertise of music and fine arts. Therefore, I feel that the people who are around this area will be more beneficial than others. Today's world, we, we are living in a very competitive world and the competition is intense and therefore whatever we do, starting from developing of this complex, we have to do quality works. We have to make it a real model professional college. The site plans, master plan, and the construction designs also should be made into our Naga local designs. The same thing of permanent structures, but the look, 
should have naga motifs naga designs because that will be memorable and those who come will definitely take this as a i mean uh, when they take photographs that will be like an ambassador for us and to be in the capital this also will be a destination for the tourist also capital kohima region it covering till chesema basa so all these are a part of capital is a capital region and you have lower uh, this road that side is a uh, army uh, brigade headquarter and then uh, you have capital just a uh, reach here is about 15 minutes maybe and then on the other side the fort nep is shifting to the other side of the river that is in pipeline and therefore waiting no time this will become a part a parcel of capital and your this road it goes into the nagaland university compass so this nagaland university kohima compass then fort nep then comes professional college and then this is the army brigade headquarter and highway uh, 61 is here so i would say that this is centrally located and therefore i am hoping that this will become a beautiful and a center of excellence particularly in the music and fine arts so as you have parted the land my request to the land owners my fellow jesema brothers and sisters give full support and cooperation give protection and make a very beautiful place so that people all over the state and our, uh, beyond the states people will come to study and learn and make with this professional college i'm sure land of festival will become a real land of festivals and a hornby festival which is national international renowned festival will become much more popular and so as we lay foundation stone today the time frame from completion is 2013 let us all try our best to complete the project on time because our habit is uh, we never complete things on time it drags on and escalation of price all these issues will come in therefore my request to the department and the engineer wing the whoever take up the job and the guardians land owners the village so our team to build up this professional college let us give a combined effort and the foundation stone will laid today let us see that we achieve during this targeted period and with good health and hearty let us come back to inaugurate to make it functional for the uh, future of our youths musicians and fine arts promotion so with this words my best wishes to all of you and god bless thank you sir for sharing a glimpse of your vision and the potential that this professional college of music and fine arts is capable of sir 